I feel like this video is a long time coming. I've been promising my viewers an updated video on how to use the S shape on your face, how to use the eight in one on your face. I'll be using the S shape on my left side. I'll be using the eight in one on my right side. And whatever unisession that you have, you can use this tutorial. Whatever S shape you have, you can use this tutorial. You can even use it if you have the Aerostorm that has these two handles on them. It has the RF in the section and the EMS and the LE. The difference between these machines is strength. So here are the specs to the Aerostorm. Here are the specs to the S-shape. And here are the specs to the 8-in-1. The 9-in-1, the 8-in-1, and the 5-in-1, most of the unit sessions are going to be the same strength. So anytime you use these kinds of machines that have cavitation, radio frequency, skin tightening, microcurrent, you need to use a conductive medium. And normally I use the 7E Wellness Restore conductive medium because it has hyaluronic acid, peptides, and you can just leave it, you, it's a one, it's a one step product. You can just leave it on for the radio frequency, you can leave it on for the microcurrent, you can leave it on for the LE. But today I decide to switch it up a little bit and use a specific conductive medium for the radio frequency. This was developed by a gal, Janet Sanchez, and she owns Body by J. She's a body sculpting specialist and has been for years. I was introduced to her through my private Facebook page. I have a private Facebook page that we talk all about body sculpting and body contouring. And on that page, there's a lot of professionals that have body sculpting businesses. And Janet is one of those people. She was frustrated with the lack of variety formulas for body sculpting. So today I'm using the radio frequency skin tightening conductive medium for the radio frequency. Then Even Skin came out with a conductive gel that I'll be using for the microcurrent and the LE. This, has, this is a conductive medium and it has hyaluronic acid, collagen, and peptide. Here are the ingredients for the radio frequency conductive medium. Here are the ingredients for the Even Skin conductive gel. So I know that Janet Sanchez has a SP store and I will leave links to where you can find them as well as everything else that I use in my videos in the description box below. So I'm gonna make sure that I clean my face really well. I'm gonna wash my face and use some witch hazel for a toner. So I'm gonna be using specifically two different products today. This is for the RF and the vacuum, and this is gonna be for the LE and the microcurrent. So let's get into this video, and I'll show you exactly how I use these machines to do my face. The steps are going to be the same in whatever S-shaped machine that you're using or whatever Aerostar machine that you're going to be using. I set the time for five minutes, the radio frequency on normal. It goes up to 10, but I chose to use it on the strength 4. On the vacuum suction, I set it for a 1.0 and the release for a 0.5. You can also set this over to professional. You just hit the pro button and the radio frequency only comes on when it makes connection to your skin. If it's blinking, it's not making a complete connection. Then make sure that your vacuum pressure is set to the lowest setting. You don't want it turned up too high because it can leave a bruise on your face. After I washed my makeup off, I used the Witch Hazel Toner. I made sure the toner was completely dry on my skin before I applied the radio frequency conductive medium. This conductive medium is glycerin based, so it stayed moist the whole time I did my treatment. I didn't have to reapply any of the gel at all. I was really happy with that. Then when I started the radio frequency and vacuum therapy, I just went in an upward motion. 
I was able to go several times within that five minutes. You can see that the radio frequency is really making my cheeks red because it's heating up. I really felt like this radio frequency conductive medium really helped the radio frequency penetrate deeper into my skin. Then I went over my face one more time with no vacuum, only radio frequency. I wanted to be able to go around my eyes and around the corners of my nose and really get around my mouth without the vacuum. While still using the same gel, I did not have to reapply. I was really careful not to go over my thyroid. I never want to use any kind of electronic device over my throat or my thyroid. Then I removed the radio frequency conductive medium and applied the even skin conductive gel for the microcurrent and EL portion of my treatment. I set the machine at five minutes. Then I set the microcurrent power at five and the EL at five. This machine is really strong. You can see just by setting the power at five, how it's really drawing my eye close when I get up close to it. It's really giving my facial muscles a good workout. It's gonna give me that firm lifted look. And the EL is really pushing that product into my skin. I have to say when I was all done using that even skin conductive gel, my skin felt so soft and smooth. So next is the right side. I did the same thing. I applied the radio frequency conductive medium. The difference with the unisession is you can use the radio frequency once a week, microcurrent and LED twice a week. So I set my machine to the three prong radio frequency handle. I set the time for five minutes and you can see that you can turn the power up and power down. I chose to use it on mode A on the full strength power, but you can do mode A or mode B. Mode B is professional. It only comes on when it touches your skin. If it's blinking, it's not making a complete connection. Mode A stays on the whole time, so I chose to use mode A. This handle does not have the vacuum in it. It's just the three prong RF. And I really like that because you can get in around the corners of your nose, you can get in around your eyes and around your mouth.
Then I removed the radio frequency conductive medium and applied the even skin conductive gel for the microcurrent and LED portion of my treatment. With this handle, it has mode A, B, C, and D, and that controls the microcurrent. It also has the power one through nine. I chose to use mode A for the microcurrent and power nine. Then on the back of the handle, it has the buttons that control the LED light. Mode on, it defaults to green. Then if when you hit auto, it'll scroll through all seven of the colors. You can also hit on again and it'll stay on whatever color you choose. If you hit wave, then it'll flash back and forth through the color that you chose. I chose to use auto for my treatment. I really like to use all seven of the colors when I do my treatments. So I set my time for five minutes and I was able to go over my face several times with the microcurrent and the LED light. Now I'm going to clean my wands. I'm going to take a small screwdriver, but you can use a paper clip. I'm going to remove the stopper, and you can see that the little filter is in there. It's got some gel on it. So I'm going to remove it and wipe it all down really good with a damp cloth. It's just a thin flour sack towel. They work perfect for this. Then I'll be using a spray bottle with the tiniest amount of water I'll spray water into my handle and it'll discharge the water into this filter. By doing this, it cleans my hose of any gel or conductive medium that might have got past the, the actual filter disc into my hose. It'll keep it from getting clogged. Then I replace the filter on the back of the machine and it's ready to go for next time. When you purchase one of these machines, they usually give you extra filters. So I'm gonna put a new clean filter into my wand and then replace the stopper. I'm using the same tiny screwdriver that I used to remove it to replace it. You can also find these filter discs in my Amazon store and there's a link in the description box below. This would also be the time you would use your sani wipes. Next, I'll just be wiping my unisession off. Same thing, I just use a clean damp towel and I make sure that the prongs are nice and clean and free of any radio frequency conductive medium. I do the same thing for the microcurrent and the LED light. I hope this video was helpful in explaining how to use some of these facial wands. And as always, everything I use in my videos will have links in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know. Like and subscribe and leave a comment down below.